Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. The big story today has been that biting northwesterly wind that is made for a frigid first half of the weekend, and we're not done yet. Check out some of the wind gust reports today. 40 miles per hour in the capital city, Lancaster over 30. The same for York, Lebanon, and Carlisle in terms of our wind gusts, and that is made for wind chills that have been stuck really in the single digits, but at least we saw a little bit of sunshine today. We've had that drier air trying to work in, but we've also had cold air loft. We had some upper level energy, so that's still provided for some clouds, and we're still seeing some of that in the capital city as we take that live glance off to the northwest, and the satellite is picking up on that all across the valley, but the Storm Team Live Radar Network Compared to yesterday, a lot quieter. Had the potential for some flurries as we progress through the last 24 hours, but overall, the bulk of the snow is off to our northeast and northwest with the lake effect snow machine now in a full force. We can still see that, but as we progress through the remainder of the weekend, high pressure going to start to build back in, and that's going to allow the clouds to diminish and our wind to eventually lighten up. Through the remainder of the evening, we're expecting temperatures to stay pretty close to where they are right now. Low to mid 20s. It's an impact evening because of the wind chills between zero and 10 degrees. Thanks to that wind from the northwest. We'll still have gusts close to 25 tonight, and that will keep our temperatures a bit more elevated. If it was calmer, our temperatures with the snowpack would be colder. We're expecting I think mid to upper teens under that mainly cloudy sky, and we've kept the impact going for that reason. But tomorrow, we're expecting temperatures with a little more sunshine to be a little bit warmer, but with the snowpack on the ground, it's still going to be cold. And with that northwest wind, we're expecting highs to rise back into the low to mid 30s with wind chills in the teens and 20s. We hit 24 degrees today. Our low was 18, well below where we should be for this time of the year. And we did pick up a little more powder, at least since midnight, four tenths of an inch of snow officially out at Harrisburg International with our climatology report here this evening. Right now we're sitting at 21 in Sealands Grove, 18 the reading in Lewistown, 19 in Gettysburg. It is 22 here in the Red Rose City. The same goes for Lebanon, but look what happens when you factor in the wind. It feels much worse. Only one that feels like temp in Chambersburg and seven in the capital. So layer up if you're heading out for dinner or a bite to eat. We're expecting those readings once again to fall back close to zero as we head through the overnight. But then we make some steady improvement as we head through the day tomorrow and eventually into Monday should be feeling a bit better as temperatures slowly but surely start to rise. Here's predictor as we time out the remainder of the night. Any flurries really coming to an end may see a, a stray snowflake or two, but we're expecting clouds to really clear up. I think we'll see a little more cloud cover than what's being painted here, but overall a diminishing cloud cover trend as high pressure builds in. This is 10 a.m. A little after breakfast, we're seeing more sunshine and really by the afternoon, I think we should be seeing a fair amount of it and that's going to carry us right into our Monday with a nice amount of sunshine. Now Tuesday, an upper level disturbance starts to move back in and that may bring us a uh, couple sprinkles, stray shower to not expecting much. As we head through Wednesday, though, that's really the leading edge of a more impressive storm. Not expecting a ton of rain, but it really kicks off an unsettled trend as we're tracking multiple waves of moisture through the 10 day forecast. And we are expecting temperatures to be back into the 40s by Tuesday. Again, maybe a stray shower or two, but better chances for showers and then eventually some more rain Wednesday right through the end of the work week. Look at our temperatures, though. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 40s. But once we get through the weekend, another cold front drops in and we should be back into the 40s there, Regina, by early the following week. Just a few days till we hit the 50s. So yeah. exciting, TJ. Thank <laughs>